ಅಂದು ಇಂದು ಸೂರ್ಯನತ್ತ ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಿ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ನೌಕೆ ಚಿಮ್ಮಿದೆ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಉಡಾವಣೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಹಂತಗಳನ್ನು ದಾಟಿರಬೇಕು ಆಗಲೇ ನಾವು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಕಳಕಿಂದ ಮೊದಲು ಮೂರು ಹಂತಗಳಾಗಿತ್ತು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆದಿತ್ಯನ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಿ ಪಯಣವನ್ನು ಮುಂದುವರಿಸಿದೆ ಸತೀಶ್ ಧವನ್ ಬಾಹ್ಯಾಕಾಶ ಕೇಂದ್ರದಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿ ಕೋಟಾದಿಂದ ಉಡಾವಣೆ ಆಯಿತು ನಿಗದಿತ ಕಕ್ಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ನೌಕೆ ಸೊ ಬಹಳ ಗಮನಿಸಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ಸಂಗತಿ ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಏನಾದರೂ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಳ್ತು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂರ್ತು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಅದರ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆ ಶುರು ಚಂದ್ರಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ಆಯಿತು ಈಗ ಸೂರ್ಯಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ಈ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ವೈಜ್ಞಾನಿಕ ಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ಮೊದಲ ಬಾರಿಗೆ ಸೂರ್ಯನ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಶುರುವಾಗಿದೆ ಭಾರತದಿಂದ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ದೇಶಗಳು ಇದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮಧ್ಯನೇ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿವೆ ಏಕೆಂದರೆ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಪಯೋನಿಯರ್ನ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ನಾಸಾ ಯುರೋಪ್ ಮೂರು ಹಂತಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖಿಸನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ನಾಸಾ ಯುರೋಪ್ ಮತ್ತು ಜಪಾನ್ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡು ಸೋಹೋ ಬಿಡ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಉಬ್ಬಿದ ರಕ್ತನಾಳಗಳ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗೆ ಎವಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇವಲ ಮೂವತ್ತು ನಿಮಿಷದ ಲೇಸರ್ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಹೊಂದಬಹುದು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ವಿವರಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ಸಂಪರ್ಕಿಸಿ ಇನ್ನು ಸೌರ ಜ್ವಾಲೆ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟೀರಿಯೋ ಎ ಬಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಸೂರ್ಯನ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಸಮೀಪಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಗಿದಂಥ ಮೊದಲ ನಾಸಾ ನೌಕೆ ಪಾರ್ಕರ್ ಅದು ಯಶಸ್ಸನ್ನು ಕಂಡಿದೆ ಆದರೆ ಭಾರತದ ಈ ಸಾಧನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಭಾರತದ ಈ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನದಲ್ಲೂ ಒಂದು ವಿಶೇಷತೆ ಇದೆ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ life on earth uh, if you remember quebec there was an event when the power lines were snapped few years ago that was because of an extreme solar uh, event so to keep an eye on the surroundings of uh, earth we need these measurements and apart from that uh, for solar wind observations also uh, these measurements will be uh, crucial thank you thank you very much sir so now we move on to dr anuj nandi So, uh, what is the importance of solar flares and the impact in heliospheres? And how does Aditya L1 contribute to all of this? Uh, good afternoon, viewers. Uh, as my colleagues already pointed out the importance of this mission uh, and the instruments about. So, the thing is, as you know that solar Vehicle flares are the energetic and explosive energy release world, in few seconds to minutes time scale. And it is order of 10 to 27 arcs to 10 to 32 arcs. Now, the thing is, these solar flares uh, why it is important as because the solar flares actually tells the dynamics and activity in the sun so the thing is what there are two instrument unique instruments built by URO satellite center that is going to cover the solar flares from 1 kV to extremely high energy out 200 kV and we know that visible sun is only 6000 degree Kelvin temperature whereas the outer surface of the sun is million degree Kelvin so the thing is why there is disparity so I think these two instruments along with the other two instruments VLC and suit we are going to address uh, the this million dollar questions as well as why there is difference thank you uh, thank you very much sir and now I like to uh, go back to uh, dr. Anil Bharatwaj so uh, there are many satellites that are sent out to other, uh, the state uh, the space by other nations so what makes Aditya L1 different from these satellites well, that's a very good question because, uh, first of all, let me again tell you that India will be the third or Israel will be the third space agency to have a mission at L1 point. And I just mentioned that it is multi-wavelength, multi-instrument and multi-direction and it measures particle, field and radiations. So you don't have such kind of satellites existing at L1 point so far and currently. That makes Aditya L1 absolutely unique because we are going to measure remotely, in situ, and particles and fields. I was also mentioning about multi-direction and that is coming from the aspects payload which stands for Aditya Solar and Particle Experiments. And this is going to measure particles ranging from 100 EVs going to several MEVs, which is essential for us to know because when the CMEs are happening or the uh, sun is quite angry, the plasma which is coming out from the sun ranges from several EVs to several MEVs. And therefore, we should know in what direction the plasma is coming and whether the plasma is getting accelerated in between when it comes from sun towards earth. And therefore, there is a multi-direction information which is available from the aspects payload because it consists of two sensors, Swiss and STEP, essentially giving you in two different energy bands 
and therefore we'll be able to quantify the CME, CIRs, and all the processes which is happening on the sun, which gives out coronal mass ejections. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, sir, for your remarks. And now, finally, we move on to the principal scientist, Dr. Sankar Subramaniam. So, how does India, how does the Indian science community seek to capitalize on ISRO space capabilities, especially these observatory missions like AstroStat and Aditya L1? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> So now uh, ISRO has established that uh, it has a capability to uh, uh, send observatory class missions anywhere in the interplanetary medium. Um, ISRO also is developing capability for small satellite missions uh, uh, like a nanosat, uh, CubeSat, as well as the small satellite capability. And that is something which uh, especially a heliophysics community could utilize it because we can, at a low cost, we can launch many more such instruments which are essential for heliophysics uh, community in, in India. So, That's and also the mean. big bigger mission takes its own uh, uh, life cycle because it requires technologies to be developed for, uh, for a bigger missions. So in between these big missions, if we capitalize on these small uh, satellite missions, and that will uh, enhance the uh, um, uh, science capability of our country to the next uh, level. And uh, as you know, the science and technologies are always synergized. As the technology improves, your science improves. Uh, when I started my career in solar physics, I started with a uh, uh, photospheric magnetic field. Now we are in a position where we can do coronal magnetic field uh, with Aditya L1, which was not feasible when I was doing my PhD. So similarly, as we move on, and as the technology starts to improve, we would be able to generate much more uh, capable instruments much more uh, compact instruments, which will enable us to do much more science what, than what we can currently do. So we look forward to capitalize on ISRO's capabilities, both at the large scale as well as, as, well as at the small scale uh, instruments, and also its capability for developing new technologies in the near future. Uh, thank you very much, sir. That was very interesting.